Hello, people. This is Spellbinder with this uh, Lasco C3 image from Soho. I like the Lasco C3 because it's the blue one with the blotted out sun. See, the sun's actual size is that circle there. And I'm going to step this up. There's other people that reported this particular effect before. And just need someone else's opinion on this. It looks like a jet trail to me. Here's two. Picture two. Picture three. Picture four. Picture five. What the heck? I've seen this a lot closer to the satellite too. It looks like a, <clears throat> like a jet stream or a jet trail. And there's one that I have on my collection. Should have brought that up and had it ready. That's like about or about that wide and goes all the way across the screen it looks just like that, it's like a close-up of this and it's pretty wild, the next thing I want to show you is this here now that's bizarre, it almost looks like a ship came in fired two two type of photon or at least plasma rays and then in the next picture is gone because these are, uh, except for that right there uh, because these are like 40 minutes apart, I think. If you look at the step down here, at this number here, I'll step it again and we'll see how far it goes. It shows uh, 142 whatever time it's at, space time, I guess. See, then it goes to 154, so it's a little over 12 minutes apart on these photos of the sun's corona. I'm going to run it now in slow, and then I'm going to just kind of scan this so you can see this. There's only uh, 41 pictures so far today. Well, you'll see this come across here real fast. That's uh, your, I think that's Mercury down in the corner down here. <coughs> Give me a second here. And I'll yeah, I think that's, I think this is Mercury down here coming in their sun. These are stars. You can see the stars are just move slowly as the pictures are in the background. Because it's orbital velocity of the satellite. But I thought it was kind of interesting. Let me go slow again. Let me move this up and we'll get a look at the top portion. I just think that's this bizarre. I've seen many of these little streaks. They look like meteors in space. I not really. I think it's just particles moving across, maybe even hitting the uh, receiver the plate on the satellite. But it's just it's bizarre that you see some of this stuff out here like that, and it comes and goes. Up here you have that. What was that? I mean, there's another thing. It's just kind of bizarre. There's all these bizarre images that come across here. Like I can step it. I can't quite. I mean, you can see all this stuff that's happening. That there's a uh, nebulous a galaxy. Actually catches that. What gets me is they were able to see the stars and everything in these pictures, but for some reason you can't see the stars when they're orbiting around the Earth. I think probably they're covering that up for because you'd probably see all the ships in orbit and, that we have. Apparently we have a lot of ships in orbit. ours and elsewhere's and see we get these little things that disappear within 12 minutes they're there and they're just like planets but if you notice when you see the planet it has the same thing it gets this little line to each side here's this effect here now what is that that catches me off guard it's there for now but when I go to the next frame this is gone within 12 minutes so it's there and then it's gone I mean I've seen weird things on on this particular Lasco's C3's all the time they just come across there 
You're seeing things that look like Anunnaki ships from the Babylonian text with the winged disc. I mean, I've seen that myself on here. So what exactly are we seeing? Well, I'm going to get off here. That's about all I wanted to show. I'll go fast through this so you can see all this stuff come up here fast. And I'll run it through one more time. There it is. You get to see that. Then that comes and it goes. I mean, are these ships coming in and out of warp or something? I mean, who knows? <laughs> going into warp. Who knows? But see how it has the line going across there. Got this star here. It's a pretty bright star. That's it. I'll put this up and let you all just talk about it. Until next time, Spellbinder. Be good or be good at it. Good day.